Grim Dawn's patch 1.1.5 is here, and with it brings a new skeleton to Key Dungeon, the Tomb of the Heretic. There are three new dangerous domains leading up to this zone. Crate has added a lot of square footage to the game in this patch, and with this new dungeon comes new enemies, 12 new bosses and mini-bosses to fight, and with new bosses comes new loot. A whopping 18 new legendaries have been added to this patch, including this new set, 8 new epics, many in the form of rings, and 4 new monster and frequents, most of which can be found solely in the Tome of the Heretic. If you're looking on how to access this area, I have a walkthrough posted on my channel on how to do this. I'll leave a link below. With this new patch comes new waystones for the Shattered Realm. The blueprint for the newly added Death's waystones can be acquired from a chest in a Shard 80 plus loot room. Opening an SR 80 plus with this waystone will disable loot altogether. This feature was implemented for the challenge only and not for loot farming purposes. This can be acquired on any difficulty and requires a frozen heart and a celestial waystone to craft plus 100,000 iron bits. Also figured I'd mention Essence Buff's cap has been reduced to 10 from 12 and the Shrine of Alaron will now boost Retaliation damage as it previously did not. We now have the option to make our metals disappear at the Illusionist. Simply talk to the Coven of Udenbog rep vendor and purchase the Invisible Metal Tonic and right click it to learn it. The Illusionist will now have the option to hide the metal at will. Owners of the Loyalist 2 pack will be happy to find a new Illusion set has been added to the game called the Great Wolf. A very Skyrim looking set with a tattooed torso, very unique. You can acquire this by speaking to Lancel the Knight in Devil's Crossing and asking him about the Northern Lands. He will then give you an item and you can right click it and learn this Illusion. There was a bit of an annoying glitch before this patch where lengthy crafting lists would get stuck halfway near the bottom. This has been kind of fixed. If you see this, you can now press the scroll down arrow and see the last item below. But these windows are still kind of a nightmare if you have a lot of items, if you ask me. Please fix it. Areas like Dangerous Domains and Skeletic Dungeons have had their rare item drop chances increased, as well as chances to find double rare affixes. This is a welcome change, where it was not uncommon to not see a double rare for many play sessions. It allows potential to start target farming double rares instead of pure luck, but they are still rare nonetheless, as they should be. Now on to the meat and potatoes of this patch. There have been over 6,000 database changes to items. Most of, if not every epic item in the game has changed somehow across all levels. In addition to epic items, most rare item affixes have also undergone changes. And that's not all. Monster and Frequence are all tagged for changes, as well as set and non-set legendaries. The intent with these modifications was to get the neglected items and affixes back up to date. And now we'll go through each item here one by one, I'm just kidding, Crate themselves even said there are way too many to list individually. GrimTools.com item database has done an outstanding job with patch to patch item change comparison right in their front page in the past. This will most likely be updated in the days to come with 1.1.5, and I will leave a link to the page below if you're interested in each individual item. But hey, hop in the game and go take a look. Aside from item changes, we have some crafting tweaks as well. There have been a decent amount of reductions to crafting some components, like reducing the amount of battered shells required to craft serrated shells and stuff like this. 21 devotions have also undergone changes. Most seem like buffs, with things like Guardian's Gaze having attack damage percentage increased and now having attack damage converted to health added. It wouldn't be a patch without class changes. Six of the nine classes are getting some form of small tweak, with Inquisitor seeing the majority of the changes this patch. Rip. I realize there are other things I miss, such as crucible changes, some faction changes, other game and tech issue fixes, and more. This is one hefty patch, and I cherry pick some of the biggest ads and exciting changes. I will leave a link below to the official patch notes. I think everyone should take a peek, as well as some other resources in the description for longer explanations of the changes. Thank you very much, and please subscribe for more content if you like this sort of thing.